body bags were Horlies. What's up, y'all? W Doubles at you again. Another week on the body bags. Week 167, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. I finally uh, succumbed to the world of Netflix. Um, pretty much long overdue. There's some stuff on there I've been interested in checking out. So I thought I would pick one that's currently on there to review for y'all. And I chose an interesting one to say the least. And it is a uh, Girl Walks Home Alone at Midnight. Um, Iranian based. I believe it's um, Persian. Is like the spoken language is Persian. So I <clears throat> thought that was interesting. Um, but yeah. Um, basically two main characters that... It, kind of simultaneously follows um, there is a uh, open the film opens with a main character is a guy named Arash and he basically just has a really dark life and he has a, uh, a, a pretty much a verbally abusive father who's a uh, heroin addict so there's a automatically um, you know, some cruel characters associated with his dad, um, crazy drug dealer pimp, um, then you have this crazy, uh, prostitute who works for the pimp, uh, so, I mean, you got some seedy folks already in this guy's life, this guy's an honest, uh, hard-working kid, though, uh, pretty much has, his prize obsession is his car, um, which ends up getting taken by the mean pimp drug dealer so that's kind of his mission and goal is to avenge that kind of shit um meanwhile while that's going on it follows uh a woman uh don't get to know her name i don't believe who is a uh <laughs> stupid as it sounds a skateboarding vampire um she's wearing like this uh, bonnet um almost like a a nun, like a nun would wear, uh, kind of a nun attire, um, very, just kind of creepy and, uh, religious garb, though, I think it works very well, the, it kind of flows behind her, that always kind of remind me of, uh, or it remind me of, like, Exorcist 3, the, uh, nun, the use of the nun's suits and stuff, how it kind of flows behind them, it's kind of creepy, almost gives them that ghostly element to them. Um, but yeah, and, uh, it's like I said, as stupid as it sounds, the, the whole skateboarding element really worked with her character, I thought, but, uh, basically she's a vampire who's cleaning up the streets with, uh, bad guys, so. But really the main attraction in this film, uh, is the presentation, uh, the writing, there's very lack of dialogue, um, but it still has enough story going on, there's enough dialogue there to move along the story. Um, visually just gorgeous though like seriously one of the most beautiful films I have watched in a very long time um, it's shot in black and white very uh, I guess kind of going for the graphic novel feel uh, reminiscent of something like Sin City but I don't know it really has elements of like film noir and uh, really has especially with the adding uh, the adding of uh, the soundtrack, it has western feels. Really, a uh, cool setting. It's a desolate, just everything feels abandoned, like this ghost town, big city. Um, just feels really, uh, it's, uh, just dead. No pun intended. It feels really dead. Um, lots of just social commentary. This is, like I said, this is a deep movie. On a, in a very like artistic way, like I said, there's a lot of social commentaries there, uh, immigration and prostitution, and there's a lot of subjects that are touched here. Um, very, just a very st a smart and stunning film. Um, all that being said, I would like to send the thrills and chills amplified just a hair. That's like pretty much my own complaint because I don't think you can say any complain as far as the filmmaking aspect went of it just uh really 
fucking well done all around. Like I said, maybe some amplified on the chill scenes, but, um, and I'd like to note that the kills, um, is like a perfect example of how to do a, a really creative and just, uh, well done kills without using lots of gore or any blood at all. They, they really, uh, have traumatic and intense kills that work with, like I said, very little gore, just the way they're cut and, uh, put together, uh, use of sound. Really cool stuff. Uh, brilliant movie. Like I said, I have a hard time really saying anything bad about it. Um, other than just a little more horror. I know it had a lot more going on for it. It's touching a lot of genres. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a really different uh, experience in a horror film, or uh, just a really, you know, artistic, just a different uh, feel to a, a film in general, uh, check out this flick, though. Definitely suggest it. I'd give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Really, uh, really dug it, though. Cool flick. So, as always, y'all, appreciate y'all watching. Peace.